So I used to have to rely on just a 2D image. You can actually see uh, the upper jaw moving forward. You can see the teeth are still kind of open. And so what I'm going to do is rotate now the jaw, now that I've moved it back a little bit. And right now I think the patient's bite is lined up and their airway looks good back here, but the chin's still maybe off just a little bit. So I'm manipulating the chin just a little bit. It creates a nice proportion in the patient's face. It makes a big difference. You can see that I can manipulate the chin in one way or another, and it kind of gives us an idea as you see this red line moving, where I'm going to manipulate the chin. There are some limitations to this. We used to rely on x-rays that gave us a frontal view of the patient's skull, but they were uh, very, very poor in nature. Now we have 3D imaging. Not only can I see the patient from the side, and you see I'm actually manipulating the screen right now, but I can also see the patient from the front and this is exactly how the patient looks. And I can see from this picture that the chin is off to the right slightly, that her midline is off to the right slightly, that the teeth aren't lining up correctly, that there's some abnormalities in the jaw bones. And I can take this picture now and even go further. And using specific software, I can actually plan a surgical case by manipulating the jaws in the software itself. You know, we did a surgical planning to see where uh, we would like to fit the patient. Um, you can see that when she's uh, smiling, uh, she may show a little bit of gum tissue that she didn't want. Um, her midlines may be off a little bit and even her chin is off to the right a little bit. When we're looking at her from the side, we can see that her profile has this concave profile she didn't like the proportions of her face and wanted that changed. And I can see where there are certain asymmetries and some I may be able to correct and some I may be able not to correct, but for the most part, it allows me to manipulate the jaws so that things look fantastic. You can see that um, where the different colors are are actually where the bone cuts are made. And as you can see now, this is our side view that we were looking at previously in that single x-ray, but now I can see also what the patient is doing in the front. Not only am I seeing where I can make bone cuts and where asymmetries may develop while I'm doing, while I'm doing surgery, but I can also see the nerve in the jawbone, and it gives me more evidence as to where I need to make correct bone cuts and where we need to separate the jawbones. And uh, this patient was very happy with uh, where everything lined up and where uh, she could smile. And in her final result, um, we were able to uh, correct her profile. And this is the final result. I like her proportions, her chin looks beautiful, um, and she's a very pretty lady. Um, here was her smile before the surgery. Here's her smile after the surgery. Our ability to uh, manipulate the jaws even more accurately have been magnified by technology that we now have. But when you know it's there and you're always feeling it, and you always know that it's affecting you, you gotta do it. If you can't smile, I mean, you gotta enjoy your life. And this definitely changed mine. It's the best decision I've ever made.